The annual Energy Design Conference and Expo kicked off this week at the Deck in Duluth. The event allows people and businesses to gather and share new ideas and products that can help create a sustainable future. It's great networking with other building and green industry professionals and then it's also um, educational to hear the different sessions and the different topics and speakers. Everything from solar panels to heating systems were there. And even schools are beginning to participate as a new generation of green education takes off. Sam Nelson, a student at WITC, says he is seeing a shift towards sustainability in schools. I've noticed more schools are getting into it, which is good. Getting more people interested in offering those programs that are pertinent to this kind of field. Over 500 people and dozens of businesses around the Northland gathered at the deck with one goal in common. And so this is yet another angle looking at the design and energy side of things and looking at it from the professional standpoint and what different products and services are available to save money, cut costs, um, and be more sustainable. The bottom line is going green is no longer a burden to businesses and people. It's actually an affordable and plausible way to go. I, th I think the main message is that um, energy efficiency, renewable energies, it's all a very doable thing and it's available, it's here, it's in our communities and there's knowledgeable professionals and there's interested and engaged citizens that want to incorporate it in their homes and businesses. In Duluth, meteorologist Adam Lorch, KBGR 6 and Range 11.